In an escalating fight with Congressman Darrell Issa, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney declined to take the bait. I'm, I'm not going to get into a back and forth with Chairman Issa. I am not interested in a back and forth with uh, the chairman. So White House allies are slugging on his behalf. Darrell Issa should call Jay Carney and apologize this morning. On Twitter, former White House senior advisor David Pluff brought up a decades-old accusation of illegal behavior by the former businessman. ISA is chairman of the Republican House Oversight Committee. He started the spat on CNN State of the Union by calling Jay Carney. Their paid liar, their spokesperson, picture behind. He's still making up things. ISA claims Carney misled the public about the IRS scandal when he said Tea Party targeting was driven by the IRS's Cincinnati office. Uh, apparent conduct by IRS officials in Cincinnati. Uh, line IRS employees in Cincinnati improperly scrutinizing 501c4 organizations. That's what the IRS's internal audit found. And Carney says it was the basis for his remarks. Those are the findings of the audit conducted by the independent inspector general, correct? Those are the findings, right? Now the Democrat helping ISA investigate the IRS issued a statement saying no witnesses who have appeared before the committee have identified any IRS official in Washington, D.C. who directed employees in Cincinnati to use Tea Party or similar terms. So where's the foul? ISA says he's still interviewing IRS officials and the smoking gun is yet to come. Meantime, the new acting IRS commissioner appearing Upon before Congress pledged to repair the agency with their help. Where are the weaknesses and how do we fix them? And it's really not just me and the inspector general. It's a partnership with Congress. Wolf, now, senior Republicans are cautioning Daryl Issa to stay away from personal attacks as his investigation into wrongdoing at the IRS continues. I should point out that this week, at a Congress will be holding no fewer than six hearings into wrongdoing at the IRS. New acting commissioner Danny Werfel's top-to-bottom review of the IRS is due in two weeks.